الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد حب تف اللہ There is a beautiful raha in being in the masjid. There's a beautiful comfort that we miss that you find in the masjid. And we miss it because now, as we know, we're tested with this virus and the restrictions of worshiping in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's houses. With that being said, we have to continue and worship Allah Azza wa Jal in your homes or where, wherever. You have to continue praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing good deeds, asking Him to lift this bella, lift this test and this trial that is befalling humanity. But I just wanted to mention the ledda, the deliciousness that you can find sometimes in the masajid. We hope all the times in the masajid. But sometimes you find certain masajid that you find that where it's it's actually, it's so comforting. As soon as you go in there, you just feel the comfort. And you just want to stay in there. It's a place that you could actually stay. Some masajid, you don't feel the same kind of comfort and sakina. And that can be for a variety of reasons. But I wanted to just talk about those places that you find from the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that give you raha, that give you that comfort. And that is just to remind you and to keep your hearts like the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qalbuhu bil masjid that his heart was tied to the masjid. His heart was tied to the masjid, that he loved the masjid. Those are one of the things he loved. He loved to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course he prayed in the masjid. So although we're missing that because of the fitna, because of the sick, sickness that we're experiencing right now, the trials and the tribulations, That doesn't mean we can't create an environment. And the strongest of us carry that environment with them. Meaning those people, the Ubad, Ubad, Al Alam, Ubad, the one who has knowledge and worship. They have Islamic knowledge, so they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on knowledge and with understanding and insight that individuals like this, they're on a higher level because for them, it's not how beautiful the Imam recited. It's not how decorated the masjid is or what have you, but rather they find their comfort and they bring that with them wherever they go. That's what we want to get. We want to get to that stage, but we have to make effort to get to that stage. It doesn't just come. It's not just because you want something you're going to achieve it without striving and make an effort. And so that, having that heart that's att attached to the masjid is a ni'mah min ni'amillah. And we have to strive our utmost to get in a position where we are comforted and comfort and we find that sakina in all of our prayers regardless whether our prayers in downtown with our prayers in the woods with our prayers in the masjid in the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where we're in the haram mecki haram medini that you find that sakina that's the one whose heart that this that his heart is 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 his or her heart is attached to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they find comfort, they find strength in their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever they go. 
part of that is by having ihsan. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when he described ihsan, he said, "And ta'budu Allaha ka'annaka tarah, fa in lam tukun tarahu, fa innu yarak." He, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, when asked about the meaning of ihsan, of ihsan. When he was asked, he said, it's to worship Allah as if you see him. And because you don't see him, know that he, he sees you. Think about that, Ahabat Tafil. I just want to ponder on that. That's all I want to talk about. In ta'budullaha ka'annaka tarah fa in lam tukun tarahu fa innahu yarak. It's to worship Allah as if you see him. Fine. And because you don't see him, know that he sees you. Okay. Walhamdulillah. Under Habit Fillah, here, of course, we don't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya. We won't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life. And those extreme, those extremists, who claim otherwise that say their their sheikh saw Allah, their sheikh commuted with Allah, their sheikh is Allah, their sheikh is in is one with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, all of these bid'ah, kufriya wa bid'ah, shirkiyya, all of this bid'ah, which is based on shirk and kufr, we we've no we we refute that. And we're not, this is outside of our, our, uh, our, our conversation. But to worship Allah as you see Him, that means you're fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means you have, you're, 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 you're exercising taqwa, uh, taqwa. That means you're doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks of you, His commands, and you're avoiding His prohibitions. Have a taqwa Allah azza wa jal. That's where we want to be. That's the stage we want to get to. We need to remove ourselves from disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and commit ourselves to obedience to Allah azza wa jalla. That's that tawakkal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the one who's on the path of worshiping Allah as if they see him and because they cannot see him, know that he sees you. Another point I wanted to mention, Habatifillah, is, and that's because I am where I'm at, the beauty, all of this green, all of this lush, these are from the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we remember that these are from the ayat, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are from his ayat koniya. Ayat, these are his, his created signs. Okay, this is in his creation. The, this beauty, this magnificence, should be a source of reminding you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reminding you that Allah Jal sees you. That's the beauty of this. It should remind you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the heavens and earth. He created all of this. This is all from his majesty. This is nothing in the scale of his beautiful creation. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. It is from him, we, uh, it is to him we will go. Meaning we're all going to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He created us and we'll die and we'll be resurrected. And to him we shall return. We're going to return back to dust. We were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we're going to return back to dust, to the earth. We are created. We will, we, we have a short period in this dunya. And that's why we should use it and be reminded of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and we should use this creation to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dhikr of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and be on ta'atillah and be away from ma'asiyatillah and have that khushur and that yaqeen that certainty and that 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 fearful co- concentration and humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we worship him and we find that everywhere for the muttaqin those are the ones who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who fear him wa sallallahu alayhi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam